Okay, so I wanted to do this video in response to uh, Joshua Fierstein. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of them out there. I, I don't know. But I know I had to do one uh, myself. I, did just, I didn't want to just sit around and not say or do anything. Um, my name is Isaac Duncan, and he talked about how he had a conversation with an atheist. I am an atheist. And so um, one of the things I want to start with um, is uh, he uses the term theory wrong. When science uses the term theory, it is associated with facts considered well proven. So when Joshua says evolution is only a theory, he's getting that mixed up with hypothesis. He then goes on to say, evolution is not a science, never has and never will be. I know some of you are doing the phase, Paul. Uh, he said, and his reasoning behind that is because it was never observed. So... Here are some observable examples of evolution. The flu virus. The reason we need a flu shot is because the virus keeps evolving in response to our antibodies each year. Through natural selection, if any flu virus should carry a mutation, it will slip through common antibodies and produce more copies of themselves. That means we will have to get a flu shot the next year. Probably could have said that better. That's the best way I have it. Here's another example of observable evolution. Italian wall lizards. These lizards were taken to an island and left there to see if changes would occur. They shifted their diet and ate more vegetation, causing a change to their head size, giving them a stronger bite. They also developed valves in their intestine, which gives bacteria more time to break down the vegetation. Okay, now, this is something I recommend to go continue studying, because this is as from early as 1971 to up to 2008, there are still observable changes happening to this day. All right, then he brings up the second law of thermodynamics. This is a good one. We're going to have fun here. All right. In thermodynamics, the term entropy is the measure of the amount of energy unavailable for work in a physical system. Left to itself over time, any such system will end with less available energy than when it started according to the second law. What does that mean? Okay, well, here's an example of a closed system, a cooler. You pour ice into it, and then you shut the lid. What happens to the ice a few hours later? It is all melted and the drinks are no longer cold. That's because it was a closed system. Energy was allowed to escape, but nothing was allowed in to keep the ice cool. The second law of thermodynamics is only valid in a closed system with no external sources of energy. Since the Earth receives continual energy from the Sun, the second law does not apply. Science is everywhere. If you notice, he was taking advantage of science by being in the car heading to his destination. He was taking advantage of science by recording that video on his cell phone. He then took advantage of science and then uploaded that on the internet to share with his friends. Whether you choose to acknowledge the facts or not, you are still able to live a healthy and comfortable life thanks to science. And that's why I did this video, so that we can get people out there to understand science is not our enemy. Science may not always give us things we want to hear, but it does definitely tell us the truth. Thank you.